Well, hello there, you wonderful humans, and welcome back to Stardew Valley. Ah, yes, the prices have increased. It is a year two on our 1.6... Did I just eat that? You can eat mahogany seeds? What the... Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so mad right now. <laughs> Anyways, welcome back. We are playing on the Meadowlands Farm. Uh, for those that you, of you that are curious, we've got to release all of our chickens. Uh, the Meadowlands Farm has been pretty great. I think the majority of things in this particular coop are fully friended up. Um, we'll give them a couple days. Uh, but, but maybe we won't give them a couple days of that bluegrass. They seem to be hitting that pretty hard. Uh, let's see here. We got Bo. Well, you know what? We'll name this one Fafet. Nana K, Rachel, Fafet, Louisa, Tara, Amy, Denise, never ending. Uh, Ms. Rengade, Bree, how is everybody doing today? All right, we got our little bok bok right there. Looking beautiful. Uh, our goal is to get one full, um, I guess. Yeah, I guess we're going to go with one full void chicken uh, party time area. And then we'll have like regular chickens as well. I got to move this particular chicken coop away from where we are trying to have all the bluegrass. We also added some mods. So uh, I added a few mods and a few. I believe there's like 26. I added all the dependencies for the mods, which takes up, you know, <laughs> like five of those um, or six. I was, I've also got expanded Ridgeside Village. Uh, obviously, the chonky cow mods or the chonky animal mods. Uh, but nothing really that breaks the game. Uh, we've got basically the ability to see where NPCs are on the map, which is kind of nice. Um, and another thing that tracks our progress, so we can see how we're doing towards 100%. Uh, so just some quality of life things. Nothing that really breaks the game or allows the game to be easier for us. So it should be a good time. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming to hang out. Uh, I haven't officially decided if these are all the mods that I'm going to be using, so I don't have a mod list available at the moment. Uh, but once I do, I'll attach it to this video as well as all the future streams for the series as well. So we can woo Sophia now? We can. We can indeed. Look at those cows. They so thick. This isn't the same Chonky Animals mod as, as I was using before, I don't think. I'm not sure. Boop. Just join the stream. What it do? What it do? Um, let's see here. We'll start cleaning up all this random stuff. We gotta figure out what we're gonna... We don't have any strawberries. We're not gonna be doing strawberries early in the season. I guess we're going to go with cauliflower. It's not my favorite. It's not really the choice I would like to go with, but I think that's what we're going to end up doing. I think I'm going to move my animals over to this green patch as well. Especially the pigs, because we're going to be getting all them sweet, sweet truffles. Oh my god. We're doing really great on our skills for those of you that are joining. We've got almost everything level 10. we got fishing 9 and combat 8. I don't think it is. The other one is more anime-ish. Yeah. Yeah, it was. It definitely was. I've also got immersive scarecrows. So you can place scarecrows, like, uh, on your crops without actually, like, taking anything up, which is super duper nice. I almost did a immersive sprinklers as well, but I didn't do it. So we can actually pick up these bad boys. Who's a good chicken? Looks like Ellie's cuter barn animals and Ellie's cuter coop animals. Yeah, which I guess I thought those were the ones I originally used back in the olden times, but I, I'm guessing not because they do look <laughs> not like I thought they were going to. Not that they're not cute or anything, but you know. All right, we got no blueberries. So we don't have to. Huh? Ahoy, tag. You've been angling for something now. With that fishing experience under your belt, I recommend casting your line over at Shearwater Bridge, east of Pelican Town. You'll land some good whoppers there. 
Very nice. Okay. Put some of these things in storage. But hope everybody's having a good day. Thank you for coming to hang out. We did get to level 100 in the mines on the last live stream. Although we didn't have the... <laughs> the quest. I guess. Big bummer. We need to unlock the island. I'm hoping that we get some thunderstorms. I believe all I needed to do was put the battery in there. That's what I screwed up. Um, but that also means if we're looking for thunderstorms, I need to make sure... That we make some refined quartz. So that way we can make those. I, I, I mean, I need to make a whole bunch of them anyways. How much copper I got? Oh, I got plenty of copper now. Do we have plenty of stone now too? That was ra so random for Willie. It was, that was pretty random. Pretty random indeed. All right, another five of those. Tier, what you looking all crazy for, you weirdo? Because for these, we need iron bars and bat wings too. Oh wow. Forgot we do not have a lot of iron. So I think I need right around 300 cauliflower. If we're going to go with cauliflower. Because we don't have strawberries. Sheesh, Lenny. Not too loud now. What if someone heard you? They might find out about me and... Oh, oh, chill, Lulu. No one cares. Anyways, I gotta go. Still got lots of paperwork left. Real nice of you to saddle me with that, by the way. Natalie, thank you for the 18 months. And it's your fault for procrastinating all the time. So this is one of the NPCs for Ridgeside Village. No can do, Lulu. It's my right as your big sister. Anyways, gotta go. Gotta catch the cable car before it fills up. Do take care now, buckaroo. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Oh, nice to see you. So how much of that did you hear? I heard all of it, Lulu. All of it. Ain't that right, Tear? With your big old stinking cat butt. Get out from behind my screen, please. Go. 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 You're messing up the stream. <laughs> Beth Ann, thank you for the 47 months. Hit that like button for uh, folks for more Stardew Valley goodness. Andre with the 47 months. There are neighbors in the mountains to the west. You can use the cable car to head up there. So yeah, we've we've seen this intro for Ridgeside Village before, which is pretty cool. I like it. We got so many more NPCs to talk to. What's Dude Bro doing down here? He's going into the sewers, snooping around the Christmas tree. Oh, sneaky, sneaky. Currently on a mini vacation. Been awake since 4 a.m. Watching the streams from the hotel. I also brought my Xbox controller so I could play Stardew on my laptop. Oh, hell yeah. And I hope you have a good mini vacation. That is awesome. Being awake since 4 a.m. Is, is no bueno, though. We're getting all the random uh, Stardew Valley expanded cutscenes now. Oh, hello, Tag. I was just checking this old garden space. Nah. It used to be community garden before we relocated it near the library. But no one take care of the field had seen better days. It's such a shame. Old Grampleton Farm. So I guess we're going to rejuvenate this area too. We never used it in the past, but I think I'm going to start using it for my kegs and stuff. Uh, but if you were to fix this plot up the land, you could use it to grow whatever you like. I tried offering it to Andy, but he said he didn't want a handout from me. Yeah, I can clean up and utilize it as a crop field. Perfect. Oh my lord. Oh, it's the dog cutscene. It's the best one, though. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
Dusty's way too adorable. Who's a good Dusty? Get them, get them pets. Boo doo doo doo. All right, so we also got uh, <laughs> these new things here so we can see what people like floating over their head, which is kind of interesting. Also, if we haven't talked to them or anything, too. I've been working on a new animal checklist for a few years now. I can't wait to observe every species living in the valley. Mm -mm -mm. We got a lot of money right now, too. Reasons to play Stardew Valley expanded because they let you pet Dusty. It's a pretty solid reason. I like to put fire quartz under my pillow. So Sandy wants some, some fire quartz. We can do that. Plus we get a ticket for it. Mm -hmm. I guess the, the cauliflower really is our only choice. It's not really what I want though. Oh, yeah. Thankfully, we already have access to the sewers because we already completed everything for Gunther. I'm, at least I'm hoping we still have access. I don't know if Expanded broke that for us. Apparently, cauliflowers are considered the latest superfood in Zuzu City. Anyone who ships 100 cauliflowers by the end of the season will earn a substantial reward from Pelican Town Agricultural Fund. Me. Mm. Yes. I do believe that sounds fitting for us. Ooh, we get to see what this book is. Mm, friendship 101. You become friends with people a little bit faster. Nice, that's worth 3,000 gold. You have the power! Alright, what else were we doing? Oh, we gotta go buy our crops. So this is a Ruin Pierre's Life playthrough. We also installed the Polyamory mod as well as the ability to marry Caroline so we can steal her from uh, the oppression that is Pierre. Uh, and we're also selling everything to Pierre but buying everything from Joja Corp. Wait, why does Joja Corp look different right now? Oh. Uh... Wait, Sam works here too? Tag went from no mods to all the mods? I did. This looks completely different. Why can't I buy anything though? Hello? I would like to take your order please, which is my order. What the heck? Uh, the better friendship mod, I think is what it's called, that does that over the heads. Well, I guess I gotta buy everything from Pierre, which is not what I wanted to do. I'm a bit butthurt about that, if I'm being honest. Yeah, the cashier wasn't there. Super weird. It could be because of having installed all the mods. It's a slippery slope to mods once you start browsing Nexus. So true. Or where did my hoe go? There it is. I should have downloaded the tractor mod. We could have put a hat on it. It could have been great. But instead, this is our life. Step, step. 
Woody do with expanded isn't the cashier a character you can romance? I think she takes breaks if I remember correctly. That's fine. Yeah, there's all sorts of new stuff. So the year two is going to be a bit of a relearning year, which is nice. It's kind of why I always like doing if I'm going to add mods, I like adding mods year two. That way you can go through year one the way you want. Um, and then you have year two to familiarize yourself with the mods. Because if you add mods all in year one, it's a lot. It's super overwhelming. And Stardew can already be pretty overwhelming. So it's one of my favorite ways to play if we do add mods. Y'all sullied my playthrough. It was going to be vanilla all the way. You absolutely missed the stream. Yeah, we did a we did a poll in the second stream last night, uh, and the poll won. So here we are, once more again upon the breach. Uh, but yeah, once I settle on the full mod list, because I might switch around some things after this. Nothing too crazy. I might add one or two things. Um, I might change the cuter animals. I want the, the fat, cute ones. I don't remember what the mod was called. I thought it was these, but maybe they just could change them up a little bit. I don't know. Then we need to fertilize these two. I'm not going to worry about watering them. <laughs> We're not going to make a ton of money from cauliflower anyways. Uh, once we get strawberries, then we'll speed grow the strawberries. And we'll make money from that. This will just literally just get us to strawberry day. And I'm okay with that. I think if we speed grow the strawberries, we get one extra harvest from them, right? Um, I feel like for some reason my brain is telling me that there was potentially no reason to speed grow them because you didn't get an extra one anyways. You ever go back to Nightingale again? I went to Enshrouded, but the game was too fast. I was thinking about starting fresh of Nightingale. I love that game so much. Uh, but I have already fully played through it two times. So I think I'm good at the moment. Uh, but that certainly doesn't leave anything out for the future. Especially if it gets like a big update or anything like that. Absolutely. Love that game. So good. Fertilizer. Yes. Wait, if I fertilize it, then it's going to make it harder to speed grow it. Because I'd have to retill all the soil, right? Oh, my lord. Look at all that fertilizer, baby. Oh my god, it's gonna make me lose my mind. Alright, so we're not gonna fertilize them either, honestly. We'll wait for the straws. I forgot to move our barn. <gasps> Truffle surprise. Yes. Why is there just one random cow sleeping outside? Like, I don't want to go inside. I'm a cow. Milk me outdoors. <laughs> Stupid. 12,500 gold a day from our pigs. <laughs> so good. I 
think we're going to lock up the chickens. The chickens that are fully leveled up, they don't need to be free. They'll be free tomorrow, to one of these days, but today is not that day, nor is tomorrow. <laughs> it's This is the Joja run-through. We can't be having free-range chickens out here. All right, everything else can be free, though. Especially our horse. Sir Cloppington. I want to get some fences put up. I want to really start actually decorating this year, too. I say that every single time we play Stardew, but I mean it this time. <laughs> Jamie! Just found out my family member got COVID today, and I live with them. After three years of COVID and four years, we finally got it. Oh, my God. I wish you the best. Hopefully a nice quick recovery. How come my cow is cute? We got the, uh, <laughs> there's a, a mod that makes the, the animals cuter and we have added that mod. It's a nice little change, you know? Ain't that right, Tyr? You wish you could be a cute cow, don't you? <gasps> It's the only way to get him to leave me alone. He hates that sound. Don't you turn around. I'll do it again. <laughs> God, cats. One day I'll have face cam back and y'all can see the, the shenanigans. Mm-mm-mm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, they did start proliferating. Nice. <sighs> was I am cow going? I've been uh, just learning a lot. I haven't started anything on the uh, on the game yet. I've been deciding whether or not to do. Because before I start coding anything, I really need to decide if it's going to be single player or multiplayer or MMO. <sighs> if I start coding anything outside of that without deciding what the networking backend is going to be, then it'll go and be a bad day. My name is Susan. Lewis told me you're a new farmer in town. I'm trapped in my farm in the mountains, so I can't say hi in person. Hopefully the message Joja made will be cleared up soon. It is actually cleared up now, so we're getting the old letters right now. Oh, we just got money from the museum. Oh, shoot. That was a buttload of money. Absolutely decided it before. Trying to go back and add it in hearts. In freaking deed. Look at the, the, the piggy sploot. Oh my god. Alright, that's pretty adorbs. What you gonna do with that big chicken butt? Yes, the bloobs. Mm -hmm. Man, we're going to have so much money now. There's not a lot for us to buy, other than potentially more animals. Which it might be really good to start planning out how we want everything to look with that. And one random pepper. <laughs> Don't judge the pepper, okay? It's just living its life. It's most glorious life. Did you and Caden get to see the eclipse? We did, and it was absolutely wonderful. It was truly an amazing experience to be able to share that, you know, with my son like that. Um, absolutely phenomenal. Nothing, there's nothing that you'll see on Earth outside of a video game 
more spectacular than that, in my opinion. So it was one billion percent worth it. Okay, we need scarecrows. All right, missed the scarecrow. Where would you like to live? Wait, I thought I had immersive. There we go. I do have immersive scarecrows. All right, we can squirt you here, and then we'll put your little friend over here, and then we have full scarecrow coverage. Uh, I have not bought the book, so I can never talk to Marnie again. We're gonna go do that meowish once I place this other scarecrow. We gotta catch the legend this season as well. Look at those truffles. That was a chicken. <laughs> God, immersive scarecrows is perfect. It's so good. I'm almost debating doing automate. But I kind of like having that morning routine on the farm where you go and take care of all the animals and stuff like that. I feel like automate takes a lot of the process of actually working on your farm, like out of the picture. Although, ooh, <laughs> I almost dropped a bomb. That could have been bad. All right, so we got to figure out how I want to start designing stuff. Uh, we definitely decided that this area up here was not going to cut it for a farm area. <gasps> Although we could make this our honey area. Like honey and trees, perhaps. We definitely got to figure out where these bad boys want to be as well. Oh, I forgot. We need to see now that we have the artisan perk and everything, how much our fish sells for that we smoked. 5,250 gold. That was for the smoked glacier fish because it pissed us off. But the real question is, is those lava eels. I think the lava eels sell for quite a bit of money smoked. The problem is they don't make babies very quick, so I really don't want to waste that right now, you know? Mm -mm -mm. Do I not have any wood? No, I do. Build a stone sign and put the bottom left rock of the fire eel pond. Oh, because it'll show you how much, how many, how many eels are in there. <laughs> really? <laughs> too thick. My horse. It's too thick for the world. What is this? Mm -mm -mm. One moment. I must assess the strength of this barrier. Yes. <laughs> It should hold steady for another six seasons, me. <laughs> I don't know why I decided to give him that voice. I see. Let me explain. While Stardew Valley... I can't remember the voice now. While Stardew Valley often seems tranquil, monsters do lurk in its darker corners, particularly deep in the woods. West of my tower, there are dangerous slimes that attack any human they see. As the resident magic practitioner of Stardew Valley and Pelican Town, it is my responsibility to maintain the magical barrier that prevents the monsters from attacking. The wizard is less hot with the duff voice. That wasn't a full-blown duff voice, though. <laughs> when a witch or wizard chooses their home, they also swear to protect the residents from that home. Wait, what? Camilla, the witch castle of the village, is exceptionally talented. She leads the vanguard, fighting off the hordes of monsters in Galdora. Oh, I've forgotten expanded. There's that whole... Oh, yeah. 
the one true waifu isn't expanded uh, in that desert area of death. Mm -mm. Half duff is worse. <laughs> half the, the half duff is worse? No. So many cutscenes, my god. There's a river filled with king salmon this time of year. Take a gander at this beauty. What you whipping out your fish like that for, bro? She was quite the mighty catch. So that's where where do you catch those? That's what we need to start fishing for. If you're feeling the angling spirit, try catching one of these beauties cuz I want that for my my most glorious money-making plans. Who's the one true waifu in Expanded? It's kind of Sophia. Honestly. Son of a... We all know how I'm feeling right now. The one true waifu. Oh, wait. It's a new year. Maybe there's new things that our raccoon friends want. Nope, still dried got dang apples. Tear. Be gone, foul beast. Does anybody want to adopt a cuddly cat of doom? Right, we're going to at least start moving things around then. We can't do anything else. I feel like things up here should be changed up a little bit. Maybe move the greenhouse up here. We can move our chicken coops up here, honestly. You love them too much to let somebody adopt them? I mean, if it was a really, really good person... Maybe I could be convinced. Don't you anger purr at me. Dude, I can't. Oh my lord. He's got such cold toe beans right now, too. Right, so that's cleared up nice. Let's see what how we can finagle some stuff in here. Make it look a wee bit better. Stop lying, Tag. I'm looking him in the eyes while I'm saying this. I've tried to give him away so many times. Haven't I? Because you're a little hoe cat. You'll take lovin's from anybody because you're a little hoe cat. Here. No. Oh. Oh. You're banned. You're fired. Say goodbye, Tear. Goodbye. When did we decide to add expanded? It was the last stream we did a poll if we were going to add mods here to son of a motherless goat. Caroline's for aerobatics club. Ugh. Tuesdays suck. <clears throat> God, that hurt my throat. <coughs> God, I'm dying. Oh, this all looks different. I don't remember it looking like that. He slut shamed his cat, guys. <laughs> I did. He's a traitor. I suppose we should go get the golden scythe since we can't do anything else today. Aerobatics. Dyslexic and reading is hard, okay? Also, speaking is hard. Everything is hard, okay? Life, speaking. I've got a squid hat on my head. 
don't question the perfect pronunciation. Ex exactly. How dare you. <laughs> life is hard. This is the life is hard hat that I've got on right now, okay? The squid hat just makes everything look more beautiful. Ah, yes. Perfect. Oh, snap. Oh, Billy. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is decidedly not good. Since when do these things clap so hard? Come here. You want some of this? I think we came on a bad luck day, maybe. Aerobatics sounds more fun anyways. Yeah, it's when you're doing aerobics with arrows flying at you. It's exhilarating. You rose, what it do? Christine, how are you? You need the UI info suite? You know, I should have added that one. That's why I haven't posted a, uh, a mod pack yet. Uh, just because I haven't fully committed to the mods. I was trying to be minimalistic about it, but also, if I'm adding mods, I might as well just, you know, add the mods. I'm not adding any game-breaking ones like Automate and stuff like that, though. Some quality of life stuff, sure. More content with Expanded and Ridge Side. We're going to focus on Expanded Year 1 and Ridge Side Year 2. Cursed Mannequin? You can dress it up however you like and pray that it doesn't come to life while you sleep. This is going to be our new waifu. Its name is going to be Susan. There's also a lot of mods that are still broken at the moment, so kind of went minimalistic for that reason as well. Yeah, golden shines me. I should only add mods for the sole purpose of making Pierre miserable. I full heartedly agree with that one. Did I run all the way up here without a horse? I just tried to take a sip of my soda and I spilled it all over the front of my body instead. How? How? Like I said, today's the life is hard day. God, it's so cold. <laughs> Jesus. I'm gonna be all sticky. Refreshing? Mm-mm. <laughs> Nicely done. Tatina, mm -mm. what it do? How are you? How are you? Oh, it's only 8.30. What's this? Oh, from the red plate that we sucked down our gullet because we kind of wasted it. <laughs> Bring a rainbow shell to the train platform. Leave it in the box. A rainbow shell. We can't get one of those till summertime. God dang it, Batman. Hmm. Oh, we got to upgrade this down here, too. It's finally sunny out, so I had to drive around for a bit and get snacks. Oh, hell yeah. It has been crazy weather lately. What are my feelings on cruises? I've never been on a cruise. I want to go on a cruise. I've just never been. I want to go on an Alaskan cruise, and I want to go see the Northern Lights. Or a Norwegian cruise. Or Japan. I want to go on a couple different cruises. 
but I've never been. So I can't really give my opinion on that. You may have broken your arm. Oh my God. Am I the only one that thinks that the squid hat is giving KKK vibes? It's a squid with eyes. <laughs> yes, I think maybe. <laughs> Please do a cruise vlog. Oh my lord. I love cruises most fun and drinking the sun is fun. That's fair. You won your first cruise last June. Ooh, to the Bahamas. It's a Pope hat? Nope. Apparently not. All right, we need a fence here. So we got to fence in this stuff. We're going to do that. Meow. Cruises sound fun, but I don't like the fact that I can't just up and leave if I need to. Why would you need to? Just live your cruise life. No, not hardwood fence. Normal wood. There's a new Disney cruise that journeys around Alaska. I feel like I don't want to be involved with the Disney cruise. You know, maybe that's just me. Boop. All right, so we need a gate there, and then we'll need a gate down here. I guess we're keeping the cows here. I kind of liked that anyways. Um, however, we need to quarantine the pigs a little bit. You like how I said, like, for multiple days I needed to move the like our stuff around and I just didn't do it? I'm so good at this game. Professional. All right, fence will go there. I want the pigs to be in a smaller area due to the fact that it would be a lot easier to find their stuff. But I can't do that until, I'm, until I move stuff. I'm going to keep it similar to how we have it now. Oh, yeah. I went to Robinson's Shores at home. That's right. During the night, Steve gave birth to a baby pig. Let's go, Steve, you dirty little hoe. That's your second baby. Oh, my God. Steve out there just getting it. Oh, my God. This one's going to be called Mike. Steve out there putting in the work. Steve doing the Lord's work. I knew we were going to get that free pig. I just didn't know it was going to come from Steve like that. Man, freaking Steve deserves the highest of fives right now. Where are you at, Steve? That's that's Steve. Steve, that's Steve with two E's. This We're looking for regular Steve. <laughs> regular Steve, where are you at, bud? We got Eclipse. Steve, yeah. Let's go. All the pets for you. Boo doo 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 doo. So I kind of like what we're doing with these with these other little crop areas like this. I'm pretty happy with with the way these are looking. So I kind of want to keep our cows and pigs in this area. I need more grass here, though. Uh, we don't have any blue grass. Am I the one that noticed it called me a pig? No, I called a pig you. That's slightly different. Where did, where did I get an artifact trove from? Hmm. 
The Earl Slim Shady. What it do? We're going up here way too early. Are the other chickens in timeout? Yeah, they're in timeout because they, um... I don't want them eating my bluegrass, essentially. You do get so much more hay with the, uh... It's only like a 25% increase, but it feels like so much more. We gotta start figuring out what we're gonna do down here. We have money to really decorate this year. I feel really good. Copper pod, thank you for the th <clears throat> for the thirteen months. Don't forget to like the stream. Thank you. And yeah, ladies and gentlemen, if you do find yourselves enjoying the stream, a like would be greatly appreciated. Slap it around a little bit, fondle it, <clears throat> show it some love. It helps out so much. And trust me, I hate saying it just as much as you hate hearing it. Bree, thank you for the eight months. I should make a tea room, coffee shop. I feel like there's so many amazing designers out there in Stardew Valley. I have never been one of them. Like, I've made ours, our farms look okay before, but nothing on the scale of, like, what I've seen, you know? Hmm, secret note. Yes. Can anybody confirm to me if rainbow shells are, in fact, only available in summer? <clears throat> This is the only reason we would go down to the ocean. I also have never caught the additional fish inside of Stardew Valley Expanded before. So I would very, very much like to do that too. Summer only. Whale, whale, whale. How, how did you escape all the way out here? Why? <clears throat> Horse. <clears throat> I can get them from Demetrius in the mail. Well, that's pretty nice. Jatina, sweet baby Jesus. To start the weekend on good vibes, plus a snack fun. Thank you so very, very much. That is very sweet of you. Thank you. <laughs> now, what snacks to get? That's the real question. All of the snacks. All the snacks shall belong to me. <laughs> oh, see, this is perfect. Like that, having the greenhouse like that. Then we still got the little spot up there. And I think we can put the chicken coops right back here, which is going to look nice. They don't need the super fancy hay anymore. The problem is our teleportation area is a little bit blocked up if we do that. All right, how else can we do this then? All right, we scooch this one over. Scooch this right there. <clears throat> I don't know what ever goes up there other than the cat, maybe? Is the cat stuck forever now? Totino's Pizza Rolls. Don't freaking threaten me with a good time. And Jatina, thank you so much. <laughs> Jatina being the goat per usual. The goat indeed. Oh, I'm going to get so many. I'm going to get some Hillshire snacks, some Tostinos. 
I'm going to sit on the couch in my underwear and watch TV later. It's going to be great. Actually, I'll probably be watching really, really boring videos on how to program tonight, but that's besides the point. <laughs> we don't want to talk about honest things, do we? Oh, wait. Problem solved. I didn't know we could move that. Give me. Oh, still kind of exactly the same. It just looks better if we do it like that. And then we'll squirt this bad boy right there. All right, I'm kind of feeling this a little bit. This is feeling better. I could scoochy scooch this up to make that even. Nah. Your spouse's area is there? Ha! <laughs> Single and not ready to mingle. We ain't doing it. We're marrying Krobus. Don't you know? Move your pet. Oh, you can move the pet bowl? Oh my god. That's cool. I kind of want it right there. Nope. Right here. I want it right there. That's a perfect little nook. We've got Fallout right now. That's true. I've liked the first few episodes, too. All right, so I think I like this. I just need more blue grass. Um, this area, I'm not sold on. We need a better spot for the horse. We can't put the horse up there because the world ends if we do that. I kind of want to put it, like, right here. And then the fish need a different home. <laughs> Make our little fishing area over here. Okay. Wait, I want to leave a, a room for some trees. So we do... Fence, trees, walkway. Yeah, one over. Look, I'm getting ready to decorate, ladies and gentlemen. And this leaves two gaps. Fence. I kind of want to have like a row of trees in between, maybe. Something in between here. I'm not sure what it's going to be yet. Okay. Yeah, the pig splute is pretty sweet. Okay. I didn't bring stuff with me to upgrade the house, but we really should upgrade the house. So we're going to do that. Boom. We're going to start working on house upgrades right now before we start investing more into animals. I feel like we should invest more into pigs because having 24 pigs would net us so much money throughout the years. Okay, so we need, I do need to make a crafting area at some point. We need some paths. We need a bunch of stuff, honestly. All right, so we need a bunch of these lightning rods. <laughs> Five. I think our crafting area is going to be over here. As recommended. Okay. 
in year one, if you get the leprechaun hat in gold, can you get it in year two as well? Actually, I don't know the answer to that question. Does anybody in chat know? I kind of hate how I can't make this. Look right. Like I've just got to leave it like this, I guess. Leave it open like that? No, we'll go one, two, and then boop. That feels better. We can go straight into that. This is Stardew Valley, yes. The best game ever made. At least by one person. <laughs> Decorating hurts my brain. God. See, this doesn't feel centered because of the way the camera view works so we're gonna do that because that just feels nicer go see marnie and get the book it's too late god dang it we'll get it. plus she's not working we can't get her till like thursday The pigs are adorable. Yeah, they look they're looking pretty nice now. All right, so I do want to plant some trees. I think I want to plant trees on the corners of these. And we're going to do we're just going to do maple for this area and we'll put tappers on all of them too. I would like to have one more set of these, I think. At some point. Don't forget to lovingly press the like button. Oh, thank you, Amelia. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to check out some of the new fish, too. So we got a text sign. So we said we should mess with those. So maybe we'll put it here. Does it work like that? Nope. Isn't it something you can do with the sign to make it work with the fish pond? Don't know how it works though. I never tried. <laughs> Why are you saying poor little piggies? The piggies are so happy. Put it on the pond. Gotcha. Oh, I didn't make a middle. Well, that's fun. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, 
That looks so pretty. Put it on the pond? What? The door is closed. What? How did that happen? I didn't do that. Did I? There's no way I did that. Go to sleep, little piglets. Oink, oink. <laughs> Lord. All right, so I got four of those. Then we'll do... Oh, we got a couple of mahogany seeds. We'll do acorns across here. So we're going to do one up here. I want to do one down here. So that's one, two, one, two. Mm. One, two, three. Do it like that. Okay. And then we'll put some grass in there. No grass starter. God dang it, Bobby. Boo. Look, we were busy trying to make things pretty for once. We never work on making things pretty, okay? It was uh it was bound to happen one of these days though. Chickens don't need a lot of room, okay? So they're not going to get a lot of room. They are going to get infinite grass, though. Whoops. Son of a... Oh, my God. Why don't I have another Darth Nugget hatching? What did I do? Oh, I forgot. God dang it, Bobby. <clears throat> I have to use a stone sign? Oh. Well, well, well. That makes sense, doesn't it? <laughs> I did not know. What the heck? Oh, thanks. I hate it. <laughs> Why? Now I've given away what I've done. Ooh. Do we have any speedy grow tree fertilizer stuff? <laughs> Alright, so I've got to get the stone signs. We'll do that next. Makes a couple of theirs. Oh, shoot. I forgot to sell stuff today. Ah, it's not like we're, we're needing a lot of money. It's fine. Day five of spring year two. And we're just making money this this summer, spring. Someone's knocking on the front door. This late at night? Who doth dare? Hey, Tech. I'm about to check the structural integrity of that abandoned shed on your property. I'm licensed by the Ferngill Republic Building Association to make sure abandoned buildings aren't on the verge of collapsing. Oh, boy. If you have a moment, you can watch my inspection in progress. It's a booty call. <laughs> I wish with Robin. Oh, my God. Dreams do come true. Mm -hmm. 
I could actually refurbish the shed if I had the materials. It'd be a challenge, that's for sure. So this is part of Stardew Valley Expanded as well. Visit me back at my workshop and talk about the specifics. I think it's just more hardwood. Everybody in the club trying to take my hardwood. God dang it. I married Elliot just for the library he brings. <laughs> nice. Oh no. Does our cat like cheese? Who's, who's requesting cheese back there? That's Robin? Oh. I forgot she's upgrading the house still. <laughs> oh, Billy. We got a double dose of cheese today. We're about to have a quadruple dose of, uh, of eggs, too. Oh shoot, what was that? Was that something about Skull Cavern? Oh my lord. Someone is waiting for you on level 100 in the Skull Cavern. We did it. Oh my god, we got the freaking note. I'm so butthurt. Now we gotta go to level 100. Steve, this is all your fault. Mike, go make some babies. That's a baby, actually. Maybe not the best request of a child. The notorious PIG is still just vibing, though. And I still cannot believe all that stuff from that last stream should have been turned into shorts. Oh, my God. <laughs> Poor Steve. Whoa is Steve. Oh. Oh, we got three out of three in there now. And we've got five out of five in there. Beautiful. Beautiful. I guess we're going to start saving all that stuff now, then. If we're going to be doing that. What you going to do? But the last time the shorts, the shorts chased you. I've been so reluctant. I, I know shorts can have a super big benefit, but they also take away... I don't know. I need to do the shorts. There's so many little things that happen that I need to be actually doing. <laughs> I guess we're going back into the mines or in the Skull Cavern then. I guess we got to wait for a superbly lucky day. I really want our blue grass to expand beyond its borders here. So that way I can put down some of these lightning rods. So that way we can, you know, have 100% permanent blue grass in here. Go to Marnie's? Yes, ma'am. So bossy, but so right at the same time. God. <laughs> I have the Skull Cavern elevator modded. I'm not ashamed to say it. Hell yeah. It's good life choices, honestly. Oh, Marnie. The animal catalog. You can access Marnie's shop when she's not around. The responsible Marnie mod. <laughs> But without needing responsible Marnie. We're going to buy another auto grabber. And we Gucci. Oh, I don't want to break the meteor. I kind of like having it there. That's called being a mom. <laughs> don't mom me. <laughs> I'm 35 years old. God dang it. <laughs> How dare you? 
be so accurate with the things that I need to do. Ah. The audacity. <laughs> Ooh, these don't go in there. You know what? We should just make another big chest. These big chests are the most glorious thing ever made, quite frankly. We need copper bars. Instead of my birthday already? Uh, no. My birthday, technically, I'm 34 still. Uh, am I? How old am I? Yeah, I turned 35 this year. In a month and three days. <clears throat> Kappa Bas. There we go. The bigger chests are a godsend. And it's not even you don't even need a mod for it. They're just there being awesome. <laughs> Math is hard. Oh my god, yeah. Uh, me scoozy. Oh, what? Get out of here. Get out of here. Get, get. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> A failure on so many levels today. Right, we're going to put the auto grabber at the end. There we go. What you gonna do with that big chicken butt? You gonna squirt out some eggs, cause that's what you do. At least they aren't bombs, ain't that the truth? That could have been a disaster. Sabina, welcome back. How are you? Hope you're doing well. Cost of repairing the shed. She needs 150 pieces of hardwood, 600 stone, 50 iron bars, and 20 battery packs can eat my butt. What are we doing with our lives? We're doing something. I don't know what it is anymore. <sighs> I wish Robin would. Hey, there's the copper bars. Okay. Big old chest. I guess we'll squirt that back here. Oh, <laughs> yes. Sorry. Probably didn't need to be that excited, but sometimes you do. Like, I got a frigitator in here for some reason doing something. Look at all this stuff we got. <laughs> Exit! That was weird. <laughs> it's the random chest of random things at this point. We got food and equipment in this chest. That's what it was for. And apparently fish. Don't ask. I don't know. Mm 
noise. Did my greenhouse change due to Stardew Valley expanded? No, it's still the same, I think. Greenhouse is right up there. I just moved it. Do all these mods come from the same place? Yeah, I'll, I'll offer a uh, a mod pack that y'all can just download and just literally just get everything all at once. It'll it'll make life super duper easy. All right, so I would like to put a fish thingy, my boober, right there. Oh, you know what we could have caught today, and we still can. The legend. The legend. Hmm. Is there a better fishing rod than I can get than the iridium one? You hate fishing for the legend? I thought you could put the big chest over the small chest. You can. I just keep forgetting that you can do that, if I'm being honest. There's an advanced ride you can get after maxing out the skills. Oh, we're so close. So close. Come on, Sir Cloppington the third. Clippity freaking cloppity faster, bud. What you gonna do with that big fish, bud? I'm gonna smoke you for 45,000 gold. Shoot. Want to make sure I get iridium so I need max. Oh my god, Sabina. I actually saw that. <laughs> I saw the Gojo mod as I was going to, as I was downloading mods today. That's amazing. That's super cool. Expanded changes some of the locations for legendaries, right? Am I still fishing in the right spot? They even have a mod where Elliot gets replaced with a Starion. Oh my god. Hmm. It is springtime during the rain, right? Would have to be before a certain time. Usually, if you're fishing in the legend spot, I need to make my fishing level ten, which means I need to eat food. That's what it is. I knew I was forgetting something. Something was wrong. God dang it, Bobby! You have to be level ten for it to spawn. You can do it at level 7 and eat food uh, to boost your skills up to level 10. I completely forgot about that. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, nice lava wolf. Very nice. I have the Asterian mod. I confirm it's, best, it's the best Stardew Valley mod that exists. Oh, no. Y'all are Terra Bibble. Mm. 
I don't know. The tractor mod is pretty freaking fire. 385. 266. Interesting. So cheaper than regular mayonnaise. Hmm. Or gold star mayonnaise. Yeah. All right, so we got some good decorating down. And maybe the blue grass will pull a little bit tomorrow. Oh, you know what? We're going down to Pig Lady, baby. See what she got going on. So how exactly do we buy things from Marnie? <laughs> Never mind. We cannot go to Pig Lady. We can go to Willie's back door tomorrow, though. I had to do some major convincing to get my boyfriend to let me have the tractor. I had to jack up the price to 500k. Oh, my God. <laughs> Why you let him boss you around like that? If you want a tractor, you get yourself a tractor. Although I do have to say the tractor does <laughs> completely change everything. It is so OP. Twenty-one thousand doll hairs. I did have an Abigail horse one playthrough, but it looked like she was yoinking us off. <laughs> we ran around. I have a short of it. I didn't say it. Y'all did. All right. These are not words from my own mouth. This is words from the community's mouth. So uh, we got rid of that one. Do 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 do. Beefaroni? I forgot I named one that. Don't you what me? It was a thing. There's a YouTube short of it somewhere. Alright, I I do want to see. So a lava eel regularly sells for 875. Now if we smoke it. We get those, those big, big numbers, don't we? This is not enough room for it. <laughs> We're going to be very mad. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hump date. Get out of the way. Just got a letter from Abigail asking to sneak into her room at 8. Oh my god. Naughty, naughty, naughty. Boop, 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 boop. Wish we had an auto picker upper for the truffles. I'm thinking we go more pig, more better. What do we think? Do we want to invest in bigger, better, more awesomer pigs? just so much money the unfortunate thing is we don't have enough stuff <gasps> 20 hardwood and 50 slime per oil maker <laughs> yuck all right smoked lava eel this is our first one 2450 gold per like if we got a metric buttload of these we could literally have a ton of money from lava eels but the problem is I don't think they, you know, they breed that much, which is a smidge of of a problem. Yeah, 
You wish the Junimo huts would pick up truffles? That'd be pretty sweet. Did I mod the animals? They're so cute. I did. I did. Our house is not done? Not done. Okay. We have a little bit of time. I guess we'll go see if it's a good luck day or not. Hmm. Neutral. Neutral's not bad. Of course. So we're going to do, while it's a neutral day... Oh, wow. I didn't realize how much iridium I actually had. Oh, baby. Why did y'all let me just not use that? Why y'all trying to hurt me like this? We can have upgraded. Many moons ago. You know how I feel about upgrades. Come, horse. Into the distance. We shall go. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Would I have listened? Maybe. Maybe not. Knowing me, probably not. Safikins, you've been in here the whole time? Who's your good friend? Sorry, Safikins just came out of some kind of hidey hole in here. Such a good kitty. So right now we're trying to get some bombs. Although, you know what? Screw this. Let's try and get Dwarf Scroll 4. Because then we can just buy the bombs. We're getting so much money coming in right now. Farming for bombs is a way bigger waste of time than anything else. Oh, hello. So the goal is to find some, like, diggable spots down here. Because we have a 1% chance from getting it from combat. And a 2% chance of getting it from hoeing. Which is horrible percentages, I might add. Regardless of the situation, I don't know how I've consistently gotten Dwarf Scroll 4 with absolutely no problem in literally every other playthrough but this one. You still have like nine cats? No, just three. Which is still a lot of cats, but it's considerably less cats than I had before. He's up to 13 now. Oh my god, I jump off a bridge face first. Or I'd accept some kind of early death, you know, some kind of natural death real soon. Like, I don't want to jump off a bridge or anything, but I, you know, I take some kind of like natural death real fast. I have two, and I definitely see having another one. <laughs> oh no. God dang it, Bobby. What is going on? A dysentery. Maybe not dysentery. I don't know about that one. Oh, what a mood. 
But actually, I wouldn't want to do that with 13 cats, because cats will decapitate you within 24 hours of you dying. They don't care. Cheers, everyone. Happy Friday. Drink one if you got one. Aw, jeans, thank you. You know what? I do got one, and I will I will have a cheers to that. Mm -hmm. Cheers to you. I forgot it's Friday. That's exciting. I don't know why. But, <laughs> but it is. Taco always has one. That's not true. I've been I've been a good boy. I've cut down pretty pretty substantially on my my drinking actually. I would never get drunk or anything, but I would I would definitely drink throughout the day. <laughs> actually, hate. I don't even like getting buzzed. Not a fan of either of those. Where's all the diggable spots? I'm about to freak out. What is... Am I stupid? No, I'm not. Hmm. Hmm. What is happening? You know what? Screw this game. We're going to 90. 90. Vodka and orange soda? Oh my god. So fancy. I'm gonna go get some good food tonight, though. Something. Gregory, what's going on? I'm Jaws Tag. I have never gotten drunk except once and sort of skipped it straight to the poisoning stage. Oh, no. No, that's terrible. I don't like getting drunk or buzzed. Both of those are really horrible outcomes to a day. I don't recommend it at all. I had my first drink last night for the first time in months, and I'm happy to announce I'm officially a cheap date. I got buzzed on half a sangria. Oh, my God. Lord hath mercy. Yeah, not drinking for a while will do that to you. That's for sure. You got to be careful. You're getting pizza tonight? I'm going to go get an appetizer. It's uh, This place near me has this thing called Screaming Muscles. It is the most amazing thing that I have ever tasted in my entire life. I want to bathe in the sauce. I want to lather it all over my body. I just want to live in it. And it's got muscles, and those are pretty tasty. Give me the dwarf scroll, baby. Me. Does it make you scream? It's it's uh, it's got a spice to it, but it's not super spicy. I don't know why it's called screaming muscles. Um, it's just really really good though. It's basically so it comes with like two uh two pieces of like like garlic bread essentially. It's not that's not an accurate representation of it in a bowl with a. I don't know, like a dozen mussels. Um, but they're kind of in this bowl of this, like, I don't know if it's like a, ch it's not cheesy, but it's like a creamy, spicy sauce with bacon and different types of peppers in it. And oh my God, so good. So good. And you could dip the bread in it. It's amazing. But my, my goal is they're closing for a month for renovations. And I'm like, can you please just give me all the sauce? <laughs> if it's going to go bad, because they close down after tomorrow for a month. I'm like, just give me all the sauce. If it's going bad, I'll buy it. I'll buy it all. And I'll make my own muscles at home. And my own bread. I started making bread again recently. <laughs> God. Never been drunk and never been much of a drinker. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Mm -mm. I like having a drink and getting like uh, it actually gives me more energy than like an energy drink or coffee or anything like that. Um, so often when I do that, I do it for like energy and it gets rid of the brain fog a little bit too. Like I've had really bad brain fog for like, I don't know, a couple of years now. 
but definitely don't like getting buzzed and don't like getting drunk. I've only gotten drunk maybe once or twice in my life, and I absolutely hate it. But I have discovered a glass of wine before bed knocks me out. Such good sleep. I don't know what it is. Apparently, and I was doing research. If you take like melatonin and other sleep aids and things like that, significantly worse for you than just having a glass of wine or two glasses of wine for that matter. So if anybody out there has trouble sleeping, I'm not condoning, you know, drinking, condoning drinking or anything, but a glass of wine might be more healthy than a whole bunch of different types of sleep aids. Knocks me out. And you don't feel like garbage in the morning. Well, whenever I take like a uh, melatonin or anything like that, I feel absolutely terrible the next day. Melatonin gives you nightmares. Yeah, I don't sleep good on melatonin or anything like that. And then you just feel like garbage the next day. <laughs> so alcohol does reduce the quality of sleep. And I think that's, uh, especially with, like, if you're drinking a lot. It's getting late. I know it's getting late. But I found a place that I still haven't gotten the stupid scroll from. Little Greyhound, how have you been? Welcome back. Thank you so much. I hope you've been well. I've just become a happy little night owl. Ain't nothing wrong with that, that's for sure. Especially once you work, like, night shift a lot. Like, just reverting to, like, a normal sleep schedule is, like, almost impossible. Especially if you do it for long periods of time. We gotta go! Oh, my lord. Night shift does ruin your sleep. Yeah, it did it for me for a long time. I'd say only within like the last year, maybe I've been able to start sleeping at a normal kind of almost human time. Ooh, look at all those. No, 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 no. I'm going to pass out. Is it worth it? Kind of. Because these take so long to make anyways. Go! Run, horse! Run like you've never run before! Go! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Within milliseconds, I'm sure. That was way too close. Have you noticed yet the door behind the tree in your farm above your furnaces? Huh? Ooh, bigger. Oh my god, look at the polyamory bed. Oh, we're gonna be party bed. Let's freaking go. Freaking party bed. All right, we're about to retire the squid hat. We got party bed, ladies and gentlemen. What do I want? I want the floppy beanie. We're going to rock the floppy beanie during the springtime. <laughs> you want an apricot? Man, this is why mushroom house or mushroom cave sucks. That's a big ass bed. That's a party bed right there. That's the kind of bed you get when you live in Utah. The beanie is honestly such a good hat. It's so good. It's perfect. That's what I would be wearing if, if I could wear a hat. Is party bed like part <laughs> the party bus? <laughs> Not Utah. <laughs> 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 
That's a Vegas bed? No, it's definitely a Utah bed. The Rusty Cog. It's like a good bar name. Just read Concerned Ape is adding a few more things. Yeah, and one point for uh, it's going to be adding things for mining and fishing. A Vegas bed would be circular. Yeah. <laughs> Salt Lake City. I've heard I've actually heard really good things about Salt Lake City. Um, to be honest, the poor chickens have like no room, <laughs> but it, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're right. Do they deserve room, though? I was looking at homes in Utah because, holy heck, you can get a lot for your money there. You know, I was actually looking outside of Salt Lake City recently as well. Um, plus, Salt Lake City is like a really beautiful city. So I've been a little bit intrigued about it. Um... I was also looking at Reno recently. Not that I really want to live in Reno, but does I just have so much access to different types of things in that area without, you know, change home. Mm -mm -mm. Moab is really pretty. Oh, yeah. All right. We need another another dark cluck cluck name. It looks a little odd. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? I need the best names that you could ever think of. You live in Salt Lake City? Oh. Do you like it in Salt Lake City? What do you think? I love the snow here in Colorado, but I'm ready for a change for sure. Oh, my God. You love the snow? Ma'am. Who hurt you? Zorro. All right. <laughs> is this update on console? No. I lived in Reno for 15 years and I love it. Near Tahoe, near the desert, near Sacramento and San Francisco. Exactly. Like Reno is like really is located in a place that's not oppressively taxed like California, but gives you access to all of the possible benefits of that region. So when I was looking at places to move, I was like, man, Reno is like in a really, really good area. Like it's beautiful. There's mountains and everything. So I was looking at Reno or Salt Lake City if I was planning to move not to Ohio. Well, to be fair, traffic's not great anywhere. I don't think anywhere in the United States, in a city, you can be like, the traffic's amazing here. So really, that's not on my... Plus, I don't leave the house. I don't commute, so it's not a problem for me. I know it's a problem for a lot of people, though. Um... I freaking love the snow. My neighbors know they will see me playing the snow by myself. Well, there ain't nothing wrong with that. Got to live your best life. I kind of, part of me, you know what? I probably do miss the snow a little bit if I'm being quite honest. Plus, I'm a thick boy. And the cold weather treats me pretty good. Oh my god. I'm not reading all of that. Who hurt you? Oh, my Lord. Currently, Utah is the third most expensive place to live right now. Really? Is it? No way. I don't believe that for a second. Most expensive places to live in the US. I want to move to Japan. The 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 dollar to uh to the yen right now is amazing. 10 most expensive cities to live in the US right now. All right, I don't, I don't care about the All right, well, I want to see the top 5. What are the top 5? So you got Manhattan, New York, number 1. Honolulu, Hawaii at number number 2. San Jose, California at number three. San Francisco at number four. Brooklyn, New York at five. Orange, California at six. 
Um, Boston, Massachusetts at seven. I know Boston's got pretty expensive to live in recently. Los Angeles at eight. Basically, it's just California and New York until you get to Washington. States, not cities. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Most expensive states to live in. 10 most expensive states to live in. All right. Number one, Hawaii knew that. Two, California. Three, Alaska knew that. Four, Massachusetts. Five, Oregon. Six, New Hampshire. Seven, New <laughs> Vermont, Washington. I actually knew all these. Uh, nine is New York. Ten is Connecticut. Utah does not make the top ten. Bow, bow, bow. All right, what are we doing? Oh, yeah, Hawaii is always up there. It tends to happen when you live in the middle of the ocean. My county was always the most expensive in Colorado. It's bananas there. I'm surprised you're looking to move. You started selling a lot of cars recently too, didn't you? Louisiana should be there because of all these god awful taxes and insurance rates keep climbing. Oh no. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I want to upgrade. We're going to upgrade our pick first. Yes, I, I downloaded mods today to enhance our game a little bit. <sighs> boop, 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 boop. <laughs> you never did say what your new plan was, though. Unless you're getting like some kind of supercar. Upgrade tools. We're going to go with the... Uh, $25,000. Oh, my God. Look at the states that are most popular for retiring. That'll give you the best cost of living ratios. But that's not true because it's going to be Florida as, like, number one. You don't have state taxes there, but it's still super expensive to live in Florida. <laughs> Plus, you've got hurricanes... And heat and alligators and bath salt zombies. <laughs> Don't dot 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 me. You post a picture of my new car, but it may need a private mess. Oh my god. What did you do? What did you do? And the Florida man. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> of course it's expensive in Florida. Do you know how hard it is to build in a swamp? I'm going to be honest. Like, I know everybody hates, like, politics stuff. And, uh, but honestly, the my favorite place that I've lived in has been Texas. And I think that's mainly because so many people are moving there because, one... The cost of living is extremely low. Land is extremely cheap. Housing is extremely cheap. Food is extremely cheap. Gas is the cheapest in the United States. So the diversity in Texas is absolutely amazing. Plus, there's so many bases which are already bringing people in from, you know, not only all around the world, but also, you know, all around the U.S. So... Um, I've been to a lot of places and I've met some of the nicest, most welcoming people and like just so many different, I don't know, the food out there is great because of so many different cultures moving to the area. It's amazing. Like it's my favorite place that I've been in so far. Aside from politics and all stuff, we don't need to get into all that. But as far as like people, because people is really what makes the place. I've been to California so many times <laughs> and I cannot wait to leave because the people there are the rudest people I've ever met in my entire life. Mm -hmm. I want to give the van life a try, but I have no idea how they make money. Uh, usually just like work from home jobs. Isn't there a lot of tornadoes there? Nah. Depends on where you are, though. <laughs> 
but the poopy electric good in Texas? You mean... <laughs> it's really not that bad. <laughs> I lived there for a number of years. They're transitioning to being all solar, so... And, and a bunch of other things as well, but... They're growing so unbelievably fast. Alright, I think... Ah, yes, blueberries. That's what it was. My electric bill in Georgia is almost three times as much as it was in Texas, too. It's absolutely crazy. I've never been anywhere in the U.S. more unwelcoming, more expensive, and more <laughs> worse to be in than California. I know a lot of people love it there. The weather is great, but... Man. Alright, that at least makes up for us spending all the money on the pick there. Oh, Virginia, yeah, no. Anywhere in the Northeast, like, housing is... Un it's You just can't. Like, you literally have to live in, like, a falling apart building from, like, the 1800s that might burn down tomorrow because of all the asbestos, lead, and bad electrical. And, uh, and even then, you might not even be able to afford it. Did I say Northwest? I meant to say Northeast. Cries in Vancouver. Oh, no. <laughs> mm, yes, all the money. I have to agree. I lived in L.A. for years, and the people there are awful. Moving from Texas to L.A. was a freaking awful shock. Oh, my God. I can only imagine. Yeah. Absolutely. Move to Ohio if you would no longer like the will to live. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, I uh, that's where my son is at the moment, and I want nothing more than to get him out of that hellhole of Ohio. I don't know how anybody could want to live there. I, I go there, and it's just... I'm so sorry to anybody who lives in Ohio. I don't hate many places, but I hate Ohio with a passion. <laughs> if there's any one place in the world that just needs to be wiped off the map, it's Ohio. Uh, anyways... <laughs> I do hope you all have a wonderful night. I'm sorry for the the end of stream Ohio hate. Uh, but I do hope you all have a great night. I gotta stop here for the night. Um, this will probably be our only stream for the day. But we'll do two streams tomorrow and two streams on Sunday. Um, maybe even more than that. We'll, we'll figure it out. Ohio is Kansas 2.0. Uh, but I do hope you all have a fantastic night. Thank you so much for hanging out.